Now, one thing you have to remember about buying a property on auction is that you might be responsible for all the additional costs, specifically referring to the arrears, rates and taxes, because those ones can be steep. Hi everyone, just a quick update again on buying properties on auction and highlighting some pitfalls that you need to be aware of, otherwise it's going to cost you a lot of money. Now, one of the most expensive ways to buy a property on auction is not to do your own research. Don't do any research beforehand, just go into the auction, bid whatever amount you want to, and hope for the best. Recently, one of the properties that went on auction in the areas that I'm looking at, I was actually interested in the property. It still looked very good. Not a lot of repairs that needed to be done on the place, until I found out what the actual outstanding rates and taxes were. Now this property currently has a market value of 1.6 million. Now all of that sounds very nice, also including current bank reserve on the property was 830,000 until I found out what the outstanding rates and taxes were. Because these specific properties, the rules are that if you buy the property, you have to put down 10% immediately and you are responsible for the outstanding rates and taxes. Now when I found out what the outstanding rates and taxes were, I was not that interested in the property anymore because you have to bear in mind just what you see from the outside is not always the a full amount of repairs that might be required on the property. So there is a portion that you'll have to set aside for possible repairs and maintenance. So I phoned the council and found out the outstanding rates and taxes on this specific property was 800,000. Now that puts the minimum price of this property at 830,000 which is the reserve plus another 800,000 on rates and taxes. So there you already at 1.6 million which is the current valuation of the property at the reserve of 830,000 it would be a very nice property to buy maybe fix up a couple of things and flip it however with the additional 800,000 that you have to pay out of pocket because you won't be allowed to finance the 800,000 that you need to pay for the rates and taxes so you have to pay the 10 percent immediately which would be 83,000 and then you have to go and settle the outstanding rates and taxes and no bank is going to finance the rates and taxes for you even if the property valuation is 1.6 million or 2 million or even 2.4 million. The auction closed on 830,000 and that is what the bank will finance. The bank will give you a very good rate if the property value is 2.4 million and you bought it for 830,000. That will give you a very good interest rate. However, in general terms, the bank is not going to give you the additional money right off the bat. So from a cash flow perspective, it's not a very good buy. So that is one of the pitfalls you have to be aware of. If you wouldn't mind, like the video down below and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.